Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I want to talk about speedometer restoration. I've got emails before in the past, people asking me, oh Chris, how do I restore my speedometer? Um, well, I'm going to show you an express route, uh, basically a quick way to restore your speedometer. This is not a thorough restoration. Um, if you want a thorough restoration, there are services out there that can do this for you. But for the most part, I've been able to get away with any of the restorations I've done before in the past, the speedometers I've been able to do on my, uh, by myself, on my own. Um, so, um, let's basically get to it. Here's a 55 speedometer that we took out. That's uh, from a 55 oval ragtop bug that I'm working on for my good friend, Lucky Larry. And we took it out of the dash and we're ready to start cleaning this up. Now, as you can see, it's got some oxidation, it's got some surface rust. Um, the bezel here has got corrosion on it. Um, but nothing to the point where we cannot restore this on our own. So what I'm going to do is we're going to first take the glass off. Now when we, when we look at the glass, of course it's held in by this chrome bezel. Well, it's supposed to be chrome, it's got some grime on it. And for the most part when I look at this bezel, it looks like it's probably been pried off once or twice before. As you can see here on the ridges here, the edge, this wraps around and hooks around the housing, this, this bezel here. So you got to kind of get under there and pry it up or get in between here where the speedometer mounts to the dash in between here and pry this off. Sometimes it can be stubborn, but for the most part, if you're persistent and just take your time, it will come out. Now, by looking at this bezel, I can see that I can most likely clean this up myself. This is just outer surface stuff that I can even scratch off with my thumb and it's already starting to clean up. Uh, so with a little bit of a, br with a little Brillo and some polish, I can I can clean this up and this will look perfect. Um, it's only this outer ridge really that pokes through the dash that you see. So this is what's more important than basically this back part. But for picture's sake, we want it to all look right, right? So, all right, let's get to it, Chris. You're talking too much. <laughs> um, okay, so we want to take the glass off. I usually get like an implement like this where you get a small little screwdriver and you try to get under here, right? See where I have my implement here and where it starts to split and you just kind of pry up. I mean, I had this off recently, so it's gonna come off pretty easily. Uh, but you just start prying up this way and it should come off. Start working your way around. Oh, there it goes, see, it just popped right off. Now you take your glass off, take your face, put that aside. And now we wanna take this out of the housing, the, the dial. Take a look at your dial. I mean, of course, you've got your gels down here. One's missing, one's there. A lot of times these are faded, and uh, we could, we're going to replace those as well. You could buy new gels. But you want to take a look at your needle. Make sure it's all looking good. Make sure the chrome button here is looking good. Look at your numbers real quick. I know you're only seeing this set of numbers here, but a lot of times um, numbers, the white is, is off, and uh, it's off or it's faded away. Um, I've seen guys actually get in there and repaint the numbers in there with like a with like a toothpick or something or a very fine brush. You gotta have some skill to do that. So, but uh, for the most part, these numbers look okay. Uh, so let's take this off. On the back, there's two cheese head looking screws that hold the dial into the housing. So just put that aside. Okay, take that off, put that aside. Turn it around. Now with your finger, you could just start pushing this end where the speedometer cable attaches to and push this through. Oops, see my gels fell out. So they weren't even really hung on there much more. And slide that right out, okay. So here's your dial. I look at my numbers here underneath. They actually look pretty good here. Probably thumb through those and check them out. To thumb through the numbers and to ever wanting to move these, I know some people want to clock their speedo back. Really, you just have one set of gears here. Move this off and the dials can turn. So we usually clock our speedos back when we do a full restoration on a car. So we're basically saying the car's zero miles again. But if you have an original car and you're documenting things, I would keep things right where they are. Um, okay, so a lot of times the face here for the most part, 90% of the time, I never really have a problem with my face here. 
uh, the speedo face. I mean, there's guys out there that will reface this for you. It's a it's a new, uh, I guess, somewhat of a sticker or a laminate or whatnot that goes over the dial, and you get a new uh, new face here. Um, I have a speedometer face here. Let's see, it's all faded on the bottom, right here. It's got some patina to it. The black is coming off. So this is something we might want to send out uh, to get resurfaced. But for the most part, I rarely come across that. You know, the, the face is pretty much protected and uh, is in pretty good shape to begin with. So I always want to check my gears. You want to put a little extra grease in here. There's a lot of times this grease is really old by now. And uh, you're going to want to lube all this up and just inspect anything. If anything looks questionable, you know, just take a peek at it and you can most likely fix it yourself. So, okay. So now that we have the housing here, next thing we want to take off is the the holder for the indicator lights. And take this out, the bulb holder. Again, two little screws. You're going to want to be careful of these. Don't lose them. You can always probably find them at the hardware store, but for the most part, if you got them, just clean them up. Okay. Okay, pull that out. There's your there's your housing pretty much all by itself. Okay. Really then what I do is put a little sandpaper to this. Uh or put it on a wire wheel, you got a wire brush, clean it up, go down to metal, uh make it look nice and, and clean. And then I usually spray it with something like a Rust-Oleum uh, silver paint or Duplicolor has a nice spray paint called um, a stainless steel. So I, I usually like to, to put that on this. Okay, so you get to clean that up. That looks nice. There's nothing really else to this. You want to take out uh, the bulb holders here for the indicators. A lot of times these are very stubborn to take out, but for the most part, they should start to turn. And, and pull right out just like that. So these look pretty clean. A lot of times I'll just put some grease on these so they slide in and out okay. And uh, change the bulbs, of course, if you're doing a, a fresh resto here. So you can buy these bulbs from any uh, you know VW shop. They sell six and 12 volt bulbs. So okay. So basically, I just what I'll do is like uh, paint that the glass. Coming back to the face, there's a piece in here that pops out. You see this black, it's like a, another type of a, a bezel. This will come out. That's stubborn too. Sometimes you might need to get in here with a little bit of a little screwdriver. Sorry if I'm coming off camera. Briefly, I'm just doing this in real time. Okay. I usually inspect this. You know, you might want to shoot a coat of black paint on it. Um, and that's nothing really, just do that. Um, put that back in. There's also seals and such in here uh, that hold the glass to the bezel, the chrome bezel. I kind of, you know, not, try not to mess with that. If you do uh, pop out the glass to clean it, just make sure you put everything back correctly. But a lot of times there's a little bit of an insulation in here. It's just really made of paper, um, so it's not very much um, and there is a rubber gasket in there as well so just be careful with that and just make sure you put it all back together when it's all said and done when you're finished painting with painting this and putting it right back in here okay so all right the other thing I want to point out going back to the dial are the the gels the pieces that show you know, the indicator lights, the directionals, the oil, and the generator lights. A lot of times, again, this is only scotch taped, really, or glued to this dial, okay, to the face here. So, as you can see here, they had this here, and that's what shows to the front, okay. They sell these gels. You can buy brand new ones. You can even go to an arts and crafts store, and they have stuff like this. But uh, Wolfsburg West or any of the VW uh, places will sell the gels. I mean, I bought a pack, and I'm still using the same pack after a few years now. I mean, you're only cutting small pieces to put this back here on the dial. So just little pieces of scotch tape, a little bit of glue if you want. You can make your own colors up if you want. I've seen people put their own colors in there, but I mean, I always go back to stock. I never really use blue. Uh, I usually just stick with the green and the red for the early cars. 
So I uh, just want to you know, clue that back. Usually it's the indicator light and the generator light is red and the oil light is green. So, okay. So, and then, um, yeah, when, it, when you look at the holder here, make sure you got no cracks in the, in the indicator bulb holder. Um, again, take out the bulb hole, the, the, the holders themselves that insert into this plastic piece. Put them on the wire wheel if you have to, if they're a little oxidized or buy new ones. And just put them in with a little bit of grease so there's no, over time, it doesn't corrode and doesn't get difficult to pull in and out. Um, and then for the most part, that's about it. Um, we basically covered everything it would take to restore your speedometer. Uh, there's really not much else to it. Um, once you spray up this, let it dry. Sometimes you might not need to let it dry overnight, but uh, that duplicate color stainless steel paint gets dry in, in a matter of, you know, half an hour, you can touch it. So um, I basically then you get your dial, you put that back in, insert it into the hole back here, if you can see that. Okay, tail end goes in the hole. Sometimes you need, may, may need a little finagling to get it in. There's a tube in here for this high beam light. Okay, so that just slid right in. And then on the back, you just line up the holes here, put those two cheese head screws back in, put your your bulb holder back in, goes in here, okay, the other two little screws will hold those in, okay, and then, whoops, you pop your glass back on, and then usually might need a little bit of persistence to get the chrome around the housing again, but for the most part, it should snap right over. You should you'll be able to hear it, and it should hook on. Just line up the slots to where the housing uh, bolts to the dash. You know, there's a slot here. If you can see that, see it's cut away for this particular piece. So I'll just hook it around. There you go, you hear it snap in, now it's around. And that's basically it. I got some finished product uh, pictures here for you to take a look at of what I've done in the past to speedometers. And as you can see, it's really not much to restore these to make them look killer. Just a little bit of polish on the dial, you know, I might just want to clean that up. A little bit of spray paint here and there, a little bit of sanding here and there, and that's basically it. You can do this at home. Um, so. Uh, if you got any questions, uh, you can email me, chris at classicvwbugs.com, or visit my website, www.classicvwbugs.com. Take care.